Hi, welcome back to Seconds with Angel. Today, we'll be learning a, a bit more about Tinkercad. Here are two objects I printed out. Believe it or not, these are the same object in Tinkercad. They are just different sizes. We will be making two ring shapes called the torus with different sizes and print them out to show you how measurements look in real life. So we will be clicking create new project and putting out one torus on the work plane. Remember that to put objects down, you must left click them and drop them on the work plane. And if we want to zoom in and out, we roll the middle mouse wheel or use these buttons at the side to rotate the work plane. We right click and hold and drag. Don't forget to try that one out a bit while we are still learning. Now, once we place our torus, we will see a square with four points. We will click one of these points, and a bunch of numbers will show up. These numbers represent the size of the object in this side in millimeters. Millimeters is the measurement that Tinkercad uses to find out how much it is. I have a caliper, and I will show you in a picture what one millimeter looks like with a pencil for scale. This controls the width of this side, and this controls the width of this side. For Taurus, we want to keep these at the same number so it doesn't look all weird, but you can do whatever you want. I just keep it this way so I get a bigger version of the same object. We're going to change those right now, putting 30 in each. Just remember, 30 here means 30 millimeters. Make sure you know what that looks like before you print it to make sure that's not too big or too small to print. I recommend getting a caliper. You can get one from any hardware store. A caliper is a tool that measures the size of an object, much like how a ruler measures. I have a cheap digital caliper that my parents bought for basic measuring like this. You can change the measurement to inches, but I'm going to use millimeters. There's also bricks. I don't know what unit of measurement that is, so I don't use it. Then we see a fifth square two, and we click the torus. This controls the height of the shape. And we're going to leave this at 5 millimeters. Now we make another torus, and we're going to resize it again. The sides are 40 millimeters, which is 10 millimeters bigger than the other torus, and the height is going to be 10 millimeter. Now I will go print it out and show you what these look like when they're done. I have put them by a pencil for scale. And here is my measuring device, a caliper. Let's see if it measures up. This is supposed to be 40 by 40. It's pretty close. I mean, it's only like one millimeter off. And as you saw before, that's not very much. Now this is supposed to be 10 millimeters, but it's probably a bit bigger because I had a brim and that makes it a bit thicker. And now we move on to this torus. It's supposed to be a 30 by 30 millimeters. Again, it's only like 1 millimeter off, so it's pretty good. This is supposed to be 5 millimeters. It's a bit bigger because it had the brim. Well, now you know how to resize objects in Tinkercad. So, a few things to remember are left click to select and drop the object onto the work plane. The grid is measured in millimeters. To change the size of objects, click one of the small squares and enter the value. Or just drag one of the small squares until you find the proper size. 
the middle mouse wheel zooms in and out of the workplace. Now, thank you for watching and see you next time.